So how'd it go for you today, Rosalyn? It was great. I am just I was telling uh, Tuba that all of this opportunity out there, and you know, when you go to these seminars, they focus on REOs and foreclosures. But what about the stuff that's there all the time? Time, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Good. So what did you what did you guys look for when you were driving around? Ugly houses. <laughs> Ugly houses. What else? Kind of motivated sellers, I guess, like a tired landlord. I mean, some of them obviously like tenants living in there. Tents? No, tenants? No, tenants. So, uh -huh. but it's not well taken care of. Uh -huh. I'm just guessing, you know, landlord is not paying attention. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you take pictures? No. I took a picture of every house really? that we did, yeah. Uh, and, uh, you got so many. You got so many. Good. Yeah. Good. You ran out of paper. You felt like you had to sweep the entire neighborhood. <laughs> like the whole street. And, okay, so, um, what made you stop? Like, what were some telltale signs other than being ugly? Grass is dead. Yeah. Grass is dead. Perfect. And there are, like, newspapers, cars, newspapers, a and a car to move into some, uh, spider web. They have a Ooh, so good. <laughs> That's broken good. So, we saw some yeah. broken windows, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, good. Excellent. So, any advice you can give to anyone that's going to go uh, driving for dollars next round? I would say uh, just keep driving because. Drive slow. Yeah, yeah, drive slow. <laughs> <laughs> there are more opportunities probably than foreclosure and REO. So, mm, so many. I love it. Okay, good job, gals. Woohoo! High five on that. All right, good job, Tiwa.